this is a very responsible job. If you are feeding 10 kids or you're feeding 10,000 kids a day, you're still responsible for the welfare of those children and what they eat. You need to have a standard operating practice of what you will require from the farm by way of a risk assessment or a gap certification. Food safety is our, our top concern. We are a part of a great organization called Michigan Group GAP. We are a group of farmers who um, share the GAP certification responsibility. And so we are audited internally by Group GAP every year. And then a portion of the membership is selected to be audited by MDART. And so we have a binder that is this thick and we go through that and, you know, we sanitize all of the crates. We wash and sanitize all of the troughs. Hands are washed, gloves are worn. All of those things are laid out in there. When something is delivered to the customer, how do we handle that? We start at the top of the checklist and we work to the bottom. So it's always the same and it's the safest as we can be. Some larger schools will require GAP, which is good agricultural practices, a food safety certification that actually requires auditors. And um, we have some wonderful state programs that help farms get to the point of being certified for GAP um, in order to sell to some of those markets that require it. But it's really a district by district and school by school decision about what requirements to have. Quality and food safety go hand in hand. Temperature and time of travel. So being able to get your product harvested and into a cooler super fast. Well, by taking the crop, harvesting it before the sun comes up and getting it into a cooler and having it down to 35 degrees, the chances of anything bad starting to grow are extremely low. Food safety is very, very important for us. When product comes into the door, we sit and check every single case over before we accept it and bring it into our kitchen. Once we bring it into the kitchen, if it's being stored for the next day, it stays in the cooler in one location. So we know that that came in all at one time. We have to sanitize all of our equipment, all of our tabletops, and then we go ahead and bring those items out. We wash them all, and then we start the process of getting them ready for the students. Food safety for Zealand schools is always a top priority. We have always put more focus too on making sure just the general cleaning, sanitizing. They take three temperatures in the life cycle of the food, so when it's cooked out of the oven, holding temperature, and right before we throw it away. All our staff is uh, surf safe certified, so everybody, not just one person in the building, goes through the surf safe training. So things that we do here at West Ottawa is making sure that staff obviously are coming in healthy and that they're following proper um, cleaning procedures with washing hands and then making sure that obviously the food is being held at the proper temperature and how we do that is make sure that we use a calibrated thermometer and make sure that um, the coolers are holding anywhere from 41 degrees or below food prep surfaces making sure they're sanitizing in between going from um, one different food to the other especially with schools you got to worry about allergies so that's very important and then making sure um, washing of fruits and vegetables, making sure temperatures, cooking temperatures, and hot holding, cold holding temperatures are all good using a calibrated thermometer. Um, we have lots of charts that we keep up and those are food safety protocols that we just naturally have built in here at our program at West Ottawa. You're serving you know, thousands of kids each day um, if there was a foodborne outbreak, it would be massive. So any type of preventative measures that we can do to prevent something like that, we're taking that step. It c can be overwhelming as a director to try and work through it. If you're a director in a district that has 2,000 kids, I would like uh, all my fellow directors to know that it's not uh, such a minefield.